In this video, we're going to learn how to convert between fractions and decimals. So we're going to change fractions into decimals, and we're going to change decimals into fractions. We're going to talk about three vocabulary words, terminating decimals, repeating decimals, and bar notation. So we're going to start by converting fractions into decimals. One thing you need to remember is the bar in the fraction between the numerator and the denominator simply is a division bar. So if we read this going down, we would read this as 3 divided by 8. So in order to figure out what 3 eighths is as a fraction, we need to figure out what 3 divided by 8 is. One of the easiest ways to do that is to get out our calculator and put into our calculator 3 divided by 8, and the answer of is 0 0.375. So that means that 3 eighths is the same as 0 0.375. These two things are equivalent. This decimal and this fraction are equivalent to each other, or they're equal. So the way we did that is we just read it going down, and the, the fraction bar is the same as the division sign. So we have 3 divided by 8, and you enter that into your calculator. This example over here is a mixed number. So we have the whole number 7 and the fraction 9 twentieths. So that means that our answer is going to be larger than 1, so this the mixed number, the number in the front of the fraction, is going to go in front of the decimal point, and whatever 7 twentieths is as a decimal is going to go after the decimal point. So you can imagine there's a little decimal point right here. So remember, this is we read this going down, so it's going to be 9 divided by 20. And again, I'm just going to get my calculator out. Remember to clear it, and I'm going to put in 9 divided by 20 and push the equal button and it's 0 0.45 so that means the 45 is going to go after the decimal point here so that means 7 and 9 twentieths is the same as 7 and 45 hundredths so that's how you convert fractions into decimals you read the fraction going down the fraction bar becomes a division sign so it's 3 divided by 8 or 7 divided by I mean excuse me 9 divided by 20 you enter that into your calculator and that's the that's the decimal part if you have a mixed number like we did in this example the the whole number goes in front of the decimal point let's take a look at these two examples we have 7 ninths and we have 3 elevenths so remember, you read it going down, so, th so this is going to be 7 divided by 9. And if I get out my calculator and put in 7 divided by 9, I get this, this number that goes on. It goes point, 0 0.7777777 and then an 8. What the calculator is doing is it's actually going out one place past what it can display, and it's seeing that it's another 7. And it's taking that 7, and remember 7 rounds up, so 7 is going to become 8. So it actually rounds the last place. There isn't really an 8 here. It's just the way the calcu this calculator works. This is actually what's known as a repeating decimal. Notice how the 7 repeats over and over and over again. So this is a, is a um, fraction, I mean, excuse me, this is a decimal that never comes to an end. It repeats that 7 over and over and over again. So rather than having to write 7 on and on and on, the way we write that is we write 0 0.7 and we put a bar over the 7. And by putting a bar over the 7, we're telling people that this part underneath the bar is the part that repeats. So this 7 repeats itself. So this is known as a repeating decimal. And we put the bar over the 7 to tell everyone that the 7 repeats. So don't get tricked up just because there's an 8 over here at the end of our calculator that you think that it's 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7 and then an 8. It's just rounding that last place up. So let's try our other example. 3 elevenths. 
So remember, you're going to read that going down. You're going to enter 3 divided by 11 into your calculator. 3 divided by 11, and the equal sign. Notice that this time it goes, it also repeats, and it goes 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7. So that means it's the 2 and the 7 that both repeat. So this time, I'm going to write the 2 and the 7, and I'm going to put the bar over both the 2 and the 7. So that tells everybody that the 2, 7 part repeats over and over again, that it goes 2, 7, 2, 7, 2, 7. Whereas over here, we just put the bar over 1, 7, because it was just that 1, 7 that repeated. So these are known as repeating decimals, and we use the bar notation to, to note that, it, that those numbers repeat. So now that we've worried about how to change fractions into decimals, we're going to worry about changing decimals into fractions. All we have to do is read this decimal. We could read this as 27 hundredths. Another way that we could write 27 hundredths is 20, sorry, it's 25 hundredths, not 27 hundredths. So you read this 25 hundredths. So you could write it as 25 over 100. That's also 25 hundredths. And then we would simplify that because 25 can go into 100. We would simplify this as 1 fourth. And if you wanted to check it and convert it back, we could take 25 divided by 100 and put that in our calculator. And look, we get that same answer, 25 hundredths, 25 hundredths. I can also put 1 fourth, 1 divided by 4 into my calculator, and I get 25 hundredths. So these three things right here are all equal to each other. 0 0.25, 25 over 100, and 1 quarter. These are all equal to each other. This is the decimal version, and these two are fractions. So here we have another example. We have 1 and 4 tenths. I know this is going to be a mixed number because I have a number in front of the decimal. That's going to become the whole number part of our fraction. And then I just have to write 4 tenths. So that's going to be 4 over 10. And I can simplify that to be 1. And 2 goes into both 4 and 10. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 5 I mean, excuse me, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So you can either have 1 and 4 tenths, or if you want to write it in simplest form, you'd have 1 and 2 fifths. And we can check to make sure that really is equal to 1.4 by putting into our calculator just the fraction part, 2 fifths. So 2 divided by 5 is equal to, see, see we have the 4 tenths here, and we have the 4 tenths over here. So that's how you change fraction, excuse me, that's how you change decimals into fractions. You read them, so 25 hundredths or 1 and 4 tenths. And so we have 25, it goes in the numerator. And the second word that you say, the hundredths part, goes in the denominator. So the last thing I wanted to review with, with you are these three vocabulary words. Terminating decimal. When something terminates, it means that it comes to an end. So a terminating decimal is a decimal that comes to an end. So these first kinds of decimals that we worked with, 0 0.375 or 7.45, those are known as terminating decimals because they have an end. The second kind of decimals that we worked with are known as repeating decimals. This is a decimal that does not come to an end and it has a pattern. So these that we worked with right here, the ones that we put the bar over, this is 0 0.77777, it goes on forever, it repeats. So that's known as a repeating decimal. And the way we write repeating decimals is that we use bar notation. Bar notation is a way to write that a decimal repeats, and the bar is written over the part that repeats. So in our first example, we put the bar over the 7 because that's the part that repeats. And in our second example, we put the bar over the 2, 7 because that was the part that repeats. And that's how you change fractions into decimals and decimals into fractions.